Drop it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to write some assembly codes. For today, I'll be covering the following areas. What are comments, reserved words, identifiers, statements, and common directives. Let's define a comment. A comment is a section of a regular text that the assembler ignores when turning the assembly code into machine language. In assembly language, we denote comments with the use of the semicolon symbol. Look at the example here. Move AXBX. So we have this line, which is the comment that moves the content of the BX into our AX. Same goes with this line wherein we're going to add the content of BX to AX. Now everything that follows after the semicolons are ignored. So let's say we have the same line of code here, move AX, BX. Well, if you notice here, we have the semicolon before the statement. So when the compiler or when the compiler executes it and converts into machine code, this particular line is ignored. So those are comments. Next, we have reserved words. Reserved words have special meaning to the assembler and cannot be used for anything other specified for its purpose. We have different, this includes mnemonic instructions, directives, operators and constants, and predefined symbols such as the at data, which we're going to, uh, going to show to you as we progress in this tutorial. Now we have here reserved words category. They're divided into four. So we have the instructions, directives, operators, and then predefined symbols. Instructions are statements that translates into machine language. So we have uh, used this before, such as the move, add, subtract, multiply, divide. We have the increment, decrement, loop, and compare. Now we also have different directives that when we write our code, we will be including it, such as the title, the DOS segment, model, stack data and then code we also have several operators and also some predefined symbols such as i mentioned earlier at data and at model identifiers are the variables that we use here in the program when we create a variable we normally have the following types we have the variable name followed by the type and then the value that we assign so let's say we have here a as the variable db stands for defined byte and then zero here is the value. Now, if you're going to have here, let's say string, so you have message, define byte, and then hello world. Now, take note, um, if, if you're going to use strings, all strings must be terminated or not terminated. At, you must have dollar sign at the last statement here. We also have your labels wherein it refers to the address of an instructions or procedure. So what are the rules in using identifiers? It must, starts with, it must start with a letter, number, or special symbol. It could include an underscore, a question mark, or an at sign. It must always start with a letter. It cannot use reserved words and must not exceed up to 31 characters. Now statements here includes two types. We have the instruction and then we also have here the directives. Now, here are the guidelines. Statements can begin anywhere in the program. It's not case sensitive and it may include two operand, single operand, or none. So these are the example add ax. These are two operand examples. Decrement cx, it's one operand. And then ret is also one operand. Now I mentioned different directives. The instruction used by the assembler to help automate the assembly process to improve its readability. This includes the title, the DOS segment, the model, the stack the data, code, and, and so I'll go over, but don't worry, we'll have some examples here. So the title here creates the title for your assembly program. To do that, you just type your title and the, the text. The text would be the description of the program that you're running. Second is that DOS seg. We have, it tells the assembler to ignore all other requests and adapt a DOS sequence stack. Okay, all you need to do is to type here, type here DOS seg. Now, in terms of the model, we also specify how big will our program occupy in memory. So to do that, we have here the model wherein we're going to specify the 
model or memory model. Let's have this one. So we have tiny, small, medium, compact, and large. The data segment is 0, 1, 1, more than 1, more than 1, and number of segment is 0, 1, uh, one more than 1, 1, and more than 1. Normally, what uh, we're going to use is either be tiny or small. Next, we also have here the stock we're in. It defines the size of our stock. By default, stocks is set to 1024 bytes, but it can be changed by specifying here the stock size. The data is where we mark the beginning of the data segment. It needs to use our program needs to use some data. We're going to use this data segment here. We have here the codes we're in. You're going to write all of your codes, and n is placed at the last line of our source code. So these are the different the, the, uh, data definitions that we have. So I saw you earlier uh, when we created our variable. DB stands for defined byte. DW is defined word. DD stands for double word word df is far word dq is quad word and then the other one is dt is for 10 byte now create our program we will create uh, we'll have a source file here and then we'll be using here a program for a, uh, a borland program which is turbo assembler that allows us to link the data and it will create as an object file once we have the object file already we will be using another program to link it to produce an executable program okay so that's all for this lecture let's write some codes now let's continue writing codes here so I have already set up my working environment wherein I have my text editor you need to have a text editor here and we need to use the compiler or that translates our assembly language into machine code but first you need to download DOSBox. DOSBox is a program that uh, emulates a DOS operating system and then after that you also need to have the compiler which is Turbo Assembler and then Tinlink. Okay, I'll uh, give the description below so that you could download the materials. So for today, we have here DOSBox. DOSBox here, uh, we need to set it up first. So I have created a folder which is um, uh, TASAM. Now, now you need to uh, create first the directory and then mount your drive. So to do that, here in Mac, you type here mount C, this one. And then TASAM. Now, if you're using DOS, you're going to have mount C and then the drive. That will be your, this will be your um, code here or your command. But since I'm running Mac, I'll be using this. Okay. All right. Now it's mounted already. And I go to my drive C, enter. So this is the program. So what you'll need is. Uh, TASAM, this one, and TILING. If you have these two files, then we're good to go. Now, for our first example, I'd like to go back to our ASCII table here. Now, remember that we were able to, we were able to display codes using debug. This time, I'm going to use the same process, but uh, for the purpose of... Uh, demonstration I'm going to display the uh, symbol here a now you have two options this time before when we were in DOS and uh, we were in debug we display here the hexadecimal value now you could also display here the ASCII value using 65 for a and then 41 H for hexadecimal so we'll display these two values here now let's run our code so first thing is you must have a title, okay? Now this is optional, but it makes the program more readable as we go along. So let's say this program displays, displays a single character, okay? And after that, we have to tell uh, uh, our assembly program to use the DOS segment, okay? So we have here 
Gossack. You just type it Gossack. Anyway, this is case. Uh, this is not case sensitive, so you can type it in uppercase and lowercase, or a mixture of both. Next is we're going to specify our model. So let's say we're going to use a small here. Then we're going to define the stock. Okay, zero one hundred h that is in hexadecimal, and then our code. And last is we're going to have our n. So your codes will be written on this section. Okay. So first thing is we're going to use here the command move ah02 or just simply 2. This one here, uh, right character 2. Let me have this one. 2 standard output. Okay. So take note this is a comment. You could place comments within your codes. Next is, let's display now the value. So let's say move DL 41H. Okay, now 41H is the hex value of the character A. Okay, now after that, we need to have here interrupt 21. H. Now you have to specify it in hexadecimal. This is a DOS function. Okay. That calls for our main DOS API. And then here we're going to have move AH for CH. Uh, move AH for CH. This is to exit or terminate. With return code intra 21h intra 20. Okay, now save the file. I'm going to save it to my turbo assembler here. Let's say we have ex1 then hjt that assembly. Now I have here my DOS box, then I mounted already to my drive C, then I need to go look for the file, so directory ex1 hjt that assembly, there you have the file. Now we need to translate this into a machine code, first thing that you have to do is to type here TASM space ex1 hjt that asm. Okay, so Turbo Assembler version 2.2 checks the file if it's okay. There's no error message, so everything works well. So pass is one. Next is if we're going to show the files hjt that asterisk. What it created is an object file here. So we have here h ex1 hjt that obj. Now we're going to use this object file to create an executable file. You just type here tlink space ex1 hjt.obj obj there. Then we have now an executable file. So if we show it, the files again, it created to us a map file and then an executable file. Now if you type here ex1 hjt then press enter there you have our first character displayed on the screen which is our hexadecimal value 41 now if you like to change or add something you need to go back again here to our turbo uh, to our editor and then add additional value let's say we want to add two more characters move dl 42 H that is for letter B, then interrupt 21. H move DL 43. H then interrupt 21. H. So what we added is the characters B and then the character C. So save the file, just save it, then you go back to your DOS box. Then you need to recompile it again. 
So you just type here. You could use your up arrow keys to scroll to your previously executed commands. We have here TASAM, EX1, enter. And then T-Link, enter. And then just type the name of the file. There you have A, B, and C. So this is our first program in assembly. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.